So, I'm in a hotel room, if you can't tell, uh, in Columbus, Ohio, and today I went to a bike show because one of my favorite television shows ever is Sons of Anarchy, which is a drama on FX, and one of my favorite actors of all time slash uh, television characters, um, <clears throat> Opie Winston, uh... He was at this bike show, uh, Ryan Hurst, if anyone even knows what the show, the show I'm talking about. Um, if not, he is also mostly known as Gary Bertier of the team football captain in Remember the Titans. Uh, that might be a little more helpful, but you can just Google him if you want. But, um, so I had a VIP thing to meet him, and it was awesome. He is a wonderful, wonderful human being. Um, I don't, like, I can't really say why, but I actually shed a few tears talking to him uh, after the whole thing was over because uh, something happened on the television show that he was, that, on Sons of Anarchy to his character. And I've been so overwhelmed with the feelings about it for months now. Um, it happened in September, and I've had this trip planned since September, so I have a few tears leaked out, but that's okay, because I'm just a big wuss, and he's super amazing, and it's really weird, because, um, in August, I met Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl Dixon on The Walking Dead, and, just for a reference, and I totally locked up when I met Norman, but with Ryan, I was just like, yo, hey, hey, I like you, I'm a fan, let's take pictures and talk about stuff, um, so it was just really weird, but Ryan has such a awesome, awesome personality, and, um, like, he has this amazing smile that just makes you feel happy, it's like, like a smile that, like, someone would say, they have a thousand watt smile, or like their smile lights up a room, and he just has good energy about him, and it was awesome. And then after the VIP, I was like, I am, I'm not done with you yet. So I went and stood in line in the, on the pub, the public, um, like it's a bike show, so it was in a room, but in one of the corners they had um a booth, <clears throat> a public booth where people could pay, to um get pictures and autographs and all that for with him so it wasn't limited to just the VIP but I wanted the VIP because I am a big Opie and Sons of Anarchy fan so I got uh oh I'll see if I can find it it's really fast where did it go oh oh okay. so I got Remember the Titans signed because this is one of my favorite movies of all time and it's definitely one of my most overwatched movies as a kid. So, yeah. I let him sign that instead of like a Sons of Anarchy DVD because that means that has like a more special place in my heart since I've known about it way longer. But, yes, I got his signature on the back of my leather jacket as well. So, I don't know, I'm happy. He picked me up, he kissed me, um, we took a bunch, I have a bunch of pictures with him, and I'm so happy, and, but I'm totally exhausted as well, because Columbus is only five hours away from where I live, but my mom got lost, because she was my riding companion down here, and so she took eight hours to get here, and I was not able to sleep last night, because when something this exciting is happening like we got to the hotel around 3.30 in the morning and I had to be there at like 11 so when something really exciting is happening and I wasn't really tired yet anyway because I stay up late all the time um I got like maybe a half hour of sleep and I'm like yeah so I'm exhausted and I'm gonna fall asleep tonight that's awesome but yeah I just felt like making this video because I am so happy today and I'm gonna be so happy tomorrow and I'm gonna be so happy for the rest of forever until I can meet him again yeah <laughs> so this is my weekend uh, I hope you guys are having a good weekend um 
happy reading to all those doing the Friday reads. I only read the prologue of my book because we left at night so I couldn't read in the dark. So I'm gonna kill more of that off tonight. It's pretty interesting so far. Um, the prologue uh, made me curious. So yeah, I'm gonna go. These are my feelings about things that probably nobody has any idea what I'm talking about, but it's okay. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys again next time.